So today, I want to talk a little bit about numbers. And especially today, I'd like to work on the numbers 1 through 30. And then we'll take an even closer look at the numbers in this column. Okay, so let's start by just counting from 1 to 30. And we'll do it together. Count along with me if you can. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Nice job. So let's talk a little bit, especially about number categories or number families. When we look at this first category or first family of numbers, it's usually pretty easy to identify these numbers where these are the numbers that we tend to be taught first, one through nine or, or zero through nine. And so early on, we learn to recognize these first, this first family of numbers pretty easy. Let's count them, let's count again, starting from zero all the way up through nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So pretty simple. Most children are able to learn that first family of numbers <clears throat> without too much trouble. And then when we move on to other number families, there's a few numbers that can be tricky, which we'll discuss in just a minute. But for the most part, as we move on, there's some simple, easy tricks for learning how to identify these numbers quickly and easily. Now, when we move up from nine, we're going to see this first family of numbers. And if you notice, what's the same about every one of these numbers? Every one of these numbers has one thing in common. If you said it has a one in the front of it, you're right. And we call this number family the teen family. And that's because, with a few exceptions, all of these numbers are going to say something teen. Like, for example... 14, 17, 19. Now there's a couple of exceptions. These three numbers don't say that, but they're still a part of the teen family. Let's say them together. 10, 11, 12. And these are just three numbers that you sort of have to memorize what they look like. There may not be really a trick to identifying them quickly. You can maybe call them sight numbers if you want to, just like sight words. Sight words are words that don't necessarily follow the regular rules of phonics, and you just have to memorize them by what they look like. And so with these numbers, that's probably the same. We just have to remember that a one with a zero behind it is 10. Two ones is 11. A 1 with a 2 behind it is 12. But the good news is, once we move beyond 12, it gets easier. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So remember that except for 10, 11, and 12, which we just have to remember, all of these numbers are something teen. Thirteen. Thir sounds a lot like 
three. So that's an easy way to remember. Thirteen. Of course, we have fourteen. Easy. When you spell the number fourteen, it's literally F O U R teen. So the number four, teen. Fifteen. Sounds a lot like five. So it's not five teen, it's fifteen. Six teen. Seven teen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. <clears throat> so maybe you could say that the teen family is one of the more challenging families to learn. After that, these families are pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So let's put this chart aside and try to randomly identify some numbers just for practice. So I'll show you a card and you say the number. What number is this? This is the number three. The number four. What's this one? The number eight. The number nine. And how about this one? The number one. All right, let's try another one. The number seven. All right, let's try another one. How about the number? 19. What's this one? 18. Remember, when we see the one in front of it, we know it's a part of the teen family. The number six. All right. So now we've got another one. It's got a one in front of it, and it's a two-digit number. I should also say that. As we move on to three-digit numbers, just because something has a one in front of it isn't going to make it a part of the teen family, necessarily. So it's a good thing to note, a two-digit number. Two digits just means two numbers. So this number has two numbers that make, make it up. Okay, but of course it's one number, and in this case, it's the number 11. So here's another member of the teen family. Do you remember what it is? 14. How about this one? 13. Not 13, but 13. Here's an easier one. It's the number five. Now, how about this one? It's not the number five, because it's got a one in front of it. Instead of five, it's what? Fifteen. Ah, yet another member of the teen family. But what is it? Is it two teen? No, this is 12, one of our sight numbers that we just have to memorize by becoming familiar with it. One with a two behind it is 12. Just remember, you've never heard anyone say two teen. It's 12. All right. This is... What? It's the number 10. Some people call 10 the father of the teen family. And why? Well, 
Let's look at our chart again. 10 is at the very top of the teen family. And even though we don't say teen when we say 10, it's kind of close. 10 kind of sounds like teen. 10. And lastly, ooh, tricky. What's this? Doesn't have a one in front of it, so it can't be a part of the teen family. It's 20. If you said 20, good job. Well, I think that's a nice start of a review. So we'll stop there for now. Maybe we'll talk about numbers again later. Thanks for participating.